you tease that Ben Affleck might be returning in Aquaman 2. What can you tease about your reunion with Mr. Affleck? I love Ben. I love him deeply. And, um, yeah. F it. Ben's coming back. And, uh, hey! hey! Right here on Access! Um, yeah, it's wonderful. He's, uh, we have a lot of surprises. It's a fun, it's a fun journey and a lot of laughs, and um, I'm excited for everybody to see it. What is good YouTube, Voice you here with another video on the future of the DCEU, The Flash and Aquaman. So, if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel or DC based content that we do on a daily basis. If you could subscribe to the channel and comment down below what is really going on. If you could check us out on Instagram, I wish you to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. We're so close to 23,000 followers on Instagram, so that would be much appreciated. Also, check us out on the Twitter sphere, aka Twitter. But what's you, G? We get it. Twitter is the most toxic platform in the world, but occasionally we tweet. So I don't want to keep going over this stuff to do with DCU, but you guys keep sending me this kind of stuff. So let's break down this information. So as we know, it's public knowledge. It came out of Variety article that Ezra Miller did reshoots in the summer. And also Ackerman 2 has done reshoots of Ben Affleck being added to the movie. So let's break it down. So I don't know why. I do appreciate it at the same time. You guys keep hitting my DMs up on Instagram at WarStu and the DMs on Twitter at WarStu G. So according to someone, massive script rewrite for The Flash, more than just a third act rework. Okay, so you're telling me a movie that is screen tested very well. In fact, it's screen tested, whether I want to believe this or not, I've heard from multiple people and it's also out there, it's screen tested on the Nolan Dark Knight trilogy level and it's got major reworks. So what, they're going to do Justice League, Justice League, three months of reshoots? Sorry, not reshoots, they're reworking everything. Massive script rewrite for The Flash. Okay, so we know they've already done reshoots because Ezra Miller, it was confirmed in an article that reshoots have already happened. So DC, more specifically, Warner Bros. Discovery doesn't have enough money to release any movies this year. That is why we're only getting Black Adam this year. Okay, so it has already spent rumoredly $200 million plus, which means the marketing budget will have to at least be $150 million to $200 million, making this already close to a $400 million movie. But they're going to do massive script rewrites, more than just reworked. Okay, the third act, we all know the ending is going to change because based on Aquaman movie, now we know Ben Affleck is in it. It could be suggested that Ben Affleck does become the main DCU Batman. And also, that information didn't actually come from the same source. Because if you follow the channel, I don't always make stuff I say in the video the headline. But multiple people said, as soon as the test screen information came out for Batgirl. People were confused, really confused why Michael Keaton was in that movie. People said weeks before Ben Affleck showed up on set, they're most likely going to add Ben Affleck into that movie. I just find it ridiculous how some people on Twitter want to be scoopers and can't always scoop. So you're telling me they're going to do a massive rewrite, which means they're going to have to pay people to rewrite part of the script, also shoot that movie again, because if they're not just reworking the third act, which again is 33%, the third of the movie. So you're telling me they're going to be shooting at least half the movie. So what, they're going to be chucking an extra $100 million into this movie? I just don't understand why you guys are being manipulated like this. Sure, they're going to change some things because it's not locked in. The movie isn't 100% locked in. That is why they keep doing test screenings. But every test screening has been really, really positive, except for a few minor things that have recently come out. But we've covered the plot leak or the earlier plot leaks from the test screenings recently on the channel. You can look on the channel if you want. So you're telling me they're going to rewrite and reshoot massive parts of the movie. Now, I know people are like, yeah, but it doesn't come out till next summer. But the original reason they gave the audience, the public, was so they had longer to do the CGI. Now, the feedback is these test screenings literally has no CGI and the ending has no CGI. 
So one of the reasons why this movie got delayed was CGI. So if they're changing it again, allegedly, now I don't believe they're rewriting a lot of this work. The problem is most of these people on Twitter just throw things out, they get at the dartboard, let's throw every possibility out, and if something sticks, we can say it. Cool, bro. But not only that, I was sent this stuff here saying massive script rewrite for Aquaman 2. So they're reshooting major parts of Aquaman 2 as well as The Flash. Hell, let's throw Shazam 2 in there as well because this is made up. I honestly think this is made up. Reshoots are normal. Reshoots don't change the movie any more than 5 to 10% tops. So both these movies are over two hours long. So these rewrites are going to be what? Changing 30 minutes of the script? Interesting. Ben Affleck's appearance in Ackerman 2 is not currently a post credit scene. No one thought it was a post credit scene to start off with. Now, what I find interesting is this is all speculation accumulation. Two years ago, your boy Wall Stew dropped a video based on Boss Logic being commissioned by The Rock's team to make an image of Henry Cavill Superman destroying Black Adam. And then I was like, The Rock just confirmed Henry Cavill Superman is in Black Adam 2021. So realistically, I put that information out there years ago before it got delayed to 2022. Hell, it's even said Black Adam 2021 on it. So guys, you need to stop believing people with no audiences. If these are credible people, why are their audience so small? I mean, yeah, sure, the audience size doesn't actually dictate how good the information is. But seriously, throwing darts at everything and then maybe one or two things will stick and then claim that you've got credible sources. It's like I say, guys, you need to vet people saying this information. Yes, we know they will be changing parts of the third act for the movie for The Flash. Yes, we know they will might be changing parts of Aquaman 2 to take out Mira. Yes, there are reportedly rumors that David Zasov isn't confident in Aquaman 2. So they will rejig things and rechange things. But major rewrites, which imply major new parts of the movie will be filmed and they've got no money. Interesting. Also, DC Fandom event has been cancelled. No, it hasn't. DC Fandom event was something that happened when people couldn't meet up in real life. And now that situation is pretty much over with in real life. There is no point in them having a DC Fandom event because they've got one movie coming out this year. And do people really want a massive event so The Rock can say, no power over the DC hierarchy, it's just about to change. Yeah, it's about to change so much that you've had to stick Henry Cavill Superman into the movie in order to get a buzz about it. Sorry, but I think the way they're marketing Black Adam is very wrong. So, realistically, there is literally nothing that is new that's come out. But you guys keep hitting me up about this Flash May, they're changing loads of things. What, when they've already wrapped it and done at least one reshoot, the same with Aquaman? Massive. Re I mean, if this does happen, where is the money coming from? You've got to question where this information is coming from. Someone coming out and saying, I've got a source. I always say where my information comes from. Remember, I was the first person on YouTube to say the Zack Snyder Just League was becoming onto HBO Max. And a lot of you guys seem to forget that. I'm not a scooper. If you call me a scooper, that is an insult. That is a massive insult. I don't want to be a scooper. I get told information and I report it and that's it. We do news, theories, breakdown, reviews, explains. We do everything. At the moment, we're doing a bit too much Flash stuff. So it is fascinating to me that people will believe this information, that they're going to change massive chunks of a movie that's already screen tested very well. The Flash is screen tested so well. And apparently the chemistry in this movie is insane. Apparently Ezra Miller, regardless of what you think of him in his personal life, apparently the way Ezra Miller plays both versions of The Flash, it just cannot work without him doing it so the reason he can't be replaced is because the movie just doesn't work without him that information came out exclusively courtesy of mr h reviews i will put the link down below to the video he goes over some other details and it's kind of an interesting video and it does make sense it always did make sense and a lot of people always said they can't reshoot a whole movie when ezra Miller is potentially playing two to three different characters and not only that, you got Michael Keaton, you got Ben Affleck, you got all these other characters. There is a lot of characters and a lot of moving pieces in the Flash movie. That is why this information of they're reshooting the whole Flash movie, because essentially, when you come out with massive rewrites, you're essentially saying, what, they're doing a Justice League Josh Sweden? Two month reshoot? No, they're not. DC does not have that Marvel money to do reshoots. They don't have the money to reshoot a lot of the movie like Marvel did with Multiverse Madness. So this will most likely 
be my last flash based aquaman based video for a while because this information at this point is just being regurgitated daily with updated information who said that ben affleck was in a post credit scene for aquaman 2 i don't even know where this information comes from it just looks like it's made up at this point yes they are rechanging stuff for both movies sure but the movie's not even locked in that's the point of having test screening to see what worked and what didn't work based on the flash test screening based on the video we told you about apparently superman being killed off doesn't work apparently there's some issues with supergirl so they would rechange and rejig and maybe repurpose some shots etc to make the movie better but if a movie is test screening so amazingly they're not really going to change that much except for potentially swapping out batfleck for keaton as it looks like batfleck is going to be the main dcu batman now so guys please stop sending me information from little scoopers because let's be honest guys throwing darts at a board doesn't really mean anything maybe once or twice you might throw a dart and it might hit but realistically that is all it is so like always guys check us out on instagram i will you to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice check us out on twitter or and i will catch you in another video guys very soon catch you later